Hello and welcome to the second video talking about how to use the Perception Neuron Motion Capture Suit with iClone. In this guide we'll be talking about how to configure the Axis Neuron software and how to use it with iClone. As soon as you launch Axis Neuron it'll ask you to connect the suit. Follow the on-screen instructions and once complete you'll be greeted with the main Axis Neuron interface. There are a lot of settings but I'm only going to talk about the essentials. Select the parameters tab and then set Joint Stiffness to 1, Step Stiffness to 0.89, and Step Constraint to 0.61. These control how closely the bones stick together, and I find these settings work best with characters in iClone. Next you need to set a profile for your motion capture actor. These tell the software how far apart the neurons are from each other, and the more accurate this information is, the better your results will be from your motion capture session. Measure the height of your actor and select the profile that's the closest match. For example, a woman that's 166 centimeters tall would need the female 165 profile. You'll then need to go through the calibration phase. This involves standing in the steady pose, A pose, T pose and S pose. The on-screen instructions will guide you through this process. Leave Axis Neuron running and launch iClone. Place a basic character in an empty set, but don't worry about placing anything else in the environment for now. Turn Physics and Soft Cloth off, then set your project length to something like 4000, so you don't run out of time midway through your motion capture session. Go to the Plugins menu, choose Perception Neuron, and the motion capture window will appear. Click Connect, and iClone will automatically link up with Axis Neuron. You can then use the record button to capture the animation performed by your actor. Finally, you'll want to save the animation you've just recorded. From the content menu, click the animation button, then custom tab. Right click on motion, then new folder. Give it a meaningful name before finally clicking the add button. This will take just a few moments to save your animation. And there, you've just completed your first piece of motion capture. Check the next video to see how we clean up any of the mistakes and glitches that may have occurred during the capture process that you may not be happy with as you watch through it now.